In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the location of your device in Android inside of React Native. First thing we need to do is we need to edit our Android manifest file so that we get the, um, we ask for permission for the, the location of the device. So what I've done is I've added this tag here that says uses permission with the Android name, um, property of access find location. And I put it down below the element of application inside of the manifest element still. So once you've done that, you save the file and you run React Native run Android again. And once you start the app up again, it's going to say, do you want to allow this app to get your location? And you of course say allow. And next step is we need to start using the location inside of React Native. Now here I have this starter project, which is using React Native maps. You can also just have a text element display the location if you want to do that. But if you want to set up this React Native maps things, you can follow my other video about how to set up React Native maps inside of Android. The first thing you're going to do, I'm going to define a, uh, a default state containing the latitude and longitude. So let me do that inside of the constructor. So this state, latitude, I will just set them to zero for now. It would probably be more wise to set them to null because there is actually a point that's called zero zero. It's a little west of Africa. Um, but for this simple example, I'm just going to set them to zero for now to avoid handling null errors and so on. So there we go, zero, zero. Then we're going to import the marker element from the React Native Maps package. So I make uh, curly braces, remember the curly braces, and then I put in marker after. Then we are also going to write a, a function inside of componented mount, which is going to actually get the current location of the device. We're going to use a object that is globally available inside of React Native that's called Navigator. If you're familiar with using it inside of a browser, it's basically the same as you're using it inside of a browser. The React Native team just did a polyfill for it, so it's going to be very similar. So navigator dot geolocation dot get current position, and this is going to return a callback that returns a position. So we can say this set state, and we can say latitude is equal to position dot chords dot latitude and longitude is equal to position coords or however you want to say it dot longitude and then we can also set an error to be zero or null excuse me because we uh, got the position successfully i forgot to set an error to be null up here as well now there's also an error callback so we can write error and if we get an error, we will say this dot set state. And we set error to be equal to the error dot message property of the error object. So this is if it's going well, we do this. If it's going bad, we do this. <laughs> and then we can set some properties of the position options like enable high accuracy, yes please. And we can set also the maximum age and timeout. So timeout is how long we want to wait before we say, okay, we're not getting the location today. It's in milliseconds, so 20,000 milliseconds is 20 seconds. We can also set a maximum age how old do we want the, uh, the location to be before we say, okay, we don't want it. We want a new one. So we can say two seconds is the maximum. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, we can start using the latitude and longitude. So if we go and make this into a map view with a ending tag like that, and we say marker, and we say coordinate, and I pass in the this dot state. It is automatically going to use this uh, the latitude and longitude of the object you pass in. So keep in mind if you have multiple locations, just make sure they have a latitude and longitude you can pass in as the object in here. Now let's try and reload the app. Remember, if you did the permissions things, you might need to run uh, React Native Run Android instead of just a reload. Now, if we zoom out quite a bit down in Palo Alto, I think we see our location down here. And so this is our location. In Android, the, by default, it sets the location to be inside of the Googleplex, of course. Now, we started out the map also to be somewhere in San Francisco, although it's a little far. So we can also say this date latitude to start out at the same location we got. Longitude, like that. And now if we really reload the app, we'll start out where our location is. And of course, in a real app, you would have some sort of error handling. Um, if we are actually getting the location of the device, we want to maybe display an error if we're not getting the location. And But in this is just a simple example to get you started up and running really fast. Now, I hope this has helped you and let me know if there's something else you want to know down below in the comments.